all the businesses in Hay and Wye, which is a small rural community, are kind of family businesses. You know, the butcher, the baker, the festival maker, everybody exploits their relatives in order to try and get something off the ground. The Oxfam relationship came through working very closely with a number of international agencies on environmental projects and that tied in with the wonderful idea that you know, if you don't live in Hay on Wine you don't have the luck of having these second-hand bookshops, your second-hand book purveyor is pretty much likely in Britain to be an Oxfam bookshop. She's dreaming of the pines outside her window in the palace, the way the night wind turns them into a black sea that tumbles and breaks against the stone wall below the sill. She's dreaming of the summer sound of trees being felled further up the mountain. The hollow top, top, top of the axe. The slow cracking of the trunk and that final thump. All that splintered yellow is still damp with life. The smell of fresh resin in the air. And columns of midges rising and falling in the angled sunlight. Yeah, we buy loads of books, especially from Oxfam. Oxfam's the biggest seller of second-hand books in the whole of Europe. The range of books is quite staggering, actually. Very often you, you will find a book you were not necessarily planning to buy, and, and there it is, and it's usually a really good price. It's discovering the unexpected, it's the fun bit of it. It's the week of the year that we really, really enjoy. Hey, comes alive. I just love the whole atmosphere. It's so lovely, everyone's really friendly. And I love it because um, all the writers always have so much to say. <laughs> I love seeing all the authors and um, getting my book signed. It just depends on the mood you're in as to what you want to read. <laughs> Books are important because first of all everybody has them and therefore everybody can donate them. In a time like this when there's a recession it's very difficult to ask people for money but charity still needs funding and we have got a network of 700 shops through which we can sell those books that are donated and we raise £20 million a year which is an extraordinary amount of money. They are about culture, they are about ideas and as I say big ideas change the world, that's what Oxfam's all about. The wonderful things about fiction is that you have three or four hundred pages in the company of a reader. It's hard to put into words. Just like when you're reading, you're sort of inside it. When you're watching the TV, you're still kept apart by the screen. It's not the process of reading, it's the ideas. Books are the ultimate expression of freedom of speech. You walk into a bookshop, what you're actually walking into is like living, breathing democracy. This is what Oxfam's about and what Hay is about. It's about sparking interest, it's about sparking debate, it's about finding solutions to problems that face the world.